Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. Do I have a great video for you today? You know I get into these uh, uh, cooking videos. It takes me a little bit, but I'm gonna give you the recipe and what we did in prison and how many we cook for and how it works and what to do. And you're gonna watch me eat it because I am hungry, I'm totally hungry. Before I get started, please check us out on member programs on YouTube, Patreon. Check our merch out. I got a great cooking shirt there too. I didn't wear it, I forgot that. Check my book out. My book is doing great and everybody loves it. So, we are set everybody. This is gonna be a great video. It's one of my favorites. One, because as you can tell, I'm not a small guy. You know, you know when you're pushing 5'9", 250, you like to eat. That, what can I say? That's my biggest thing. Everyone says, I gotta lose weight. I know, I'm a big guy, all that. But you know what? I gotta, I gotta eat. I gotta eat. Anyway, this is a meal we used to prepare. And we would prepare it for multiple people or sometimes just yourself. Today, though, I'm gonna be preparing it for two. And I'm gonna show you how we did it for two. So if you're in the prison cell, you know, first of all, nobody liked to go to the kitchen. The kitchen had the shittiest food in the world. Oh, Lord. I remember when I was in Atlanta, I literally stopped eating meat because I chipped a tooth by eating the crap bone off of, they, they scraped the shittiest meat off of a cow near the bone or whatever it was. It was the worst. And I literally be bone in the meat and I quit eating meat. First of all, you never wanted to go to the kitchen. Nobody did. And if you were lucky like myself, who was a hustler, who was a bookie and he got things done. I always had money. I had enough money that I could buy stuff off the commissary. So that was always important. So what you would do is, no, I wouldn't say to everybody, hey, I'm paying for food just today or nothing like that. If you wanted to eat with me and you were my seller, we'd all put up something for the dish. In this case, we're gonna make my ramu noodle soup with summer sausage and a couple of little extras in it as well. And you know, one of the extras is cheese that I'm gonna go get. And, and, and just a couple slices of cheese to get as well. Well, the first thing we do, everybody, is you need your ramen noodle soups. So we used to get ramen noodle soups right here. We'd get ramen noodle soups off the commissary. They were 25 cents a soup, and they're always good. You can get the different flavors. I used to get the chicken flavor. They really don't matter. It's a packet with some bullshit in it. That's just about all it is. It's a packet. Now, this, there's going to be a couple of tricks to this little dish here. You have your summer sausage, which is very important. You get summer sausage off the commissary. How we did it. Now, the summer sausage we bought off the commissary were just a little different. They were a little thinner, but they were just like this. And you're going to see how they cook and everything else. And we used to do it. One full summer sausage would be good for four guys. Today, I'm gonna have two, so we're gonna use half a summer sausage, and that's what we always did. We always get a bell pepper. Now, bell peppers used to cost one or two stamps, which each stamp was a quarter. So you might get this, this bell pepper for two stamps. Depending on who steal them, you get a regular out of the kitchen, or whoever it is, you'd get those, and you'd get them just like this, and the guy would bring them, and you'd give them two stamps. Sometimes it, if they were really hard to get that, that week or something, sometimes they cost four stamps. We didn't care, it didn't matter. We also had onions. So these are all the things that make this little dish really good. Everything we do, and you know this, is made with garlic. Garlic is the, the I call it the, the magic ingredient in everything. You always have it. In this case, we have cheese. Now, of course I didn't buy a block of cheese. We used to get a block of cheese, a literally a whole block. And you know, you'd, you'd buy, the guy would steal a whole block and eat, sell quarters of it or whatever it is for X amount of dollars. And then you'd cut your own cheese. And I have cheese anyway, that is for the dish. Of course, olive oil. Now we used to buy olive oil off of the commissary, so it's not something you couldn't get. But whatever we didn't get off the commissary, we got out of the, either the officer's kitchen or in the back room where, where things were done. And believe me, it was done a lot. The key ingredient, you're gonna go, wow, he's crazy. No, he's not really crazy, was Lay's potato chips. And you're gonna go, what do you mean? Do you know when you eat a bag of potato chips, you always have the crumbs at the end of the bag. You know, like when you eat a whole bag, and <laughs> we'd eat a whole bag, you know, you'd have crumbs. So we ended up used to crush them up, have them in there, always keep them, put a rubber band around them, and keep them in your locker for this dish. So that's the dish. This is my ramen noodle dish. 
that you will always notice I have paper towels here uh, we used to have the brown paper towels. Remember the brown paper towels that come out of the, the stuff in a bathroom? Well, we had those kind of paper towels that you, they either had in a kitchen. We didn't have actual paper towels like I got, but of course I don't have those, so I'm using this. I'm also altering it a hair. I'm not gonna use a razor blade. I'm gonna use a knife. I used razor blades, and I showed you all how to do that in previous videos. So I have a couple of knives, of course, a fork to eat, and we are gonna get going. So the first thing you do in anything you do in prison is you prep. Now, obviously you have your two soups. You can put them aside. You put them right in here. They're gonna be ready to go. Now you got your bowl. First things first. You take your stuff, start peeling your garlic. I used to do this almost every single day I was in prison because I was cooking something. And you know my prison pasta dish is one of the most uh, uh, done dishes here now on my channel. And make sure if you do this dish, you do it just the way I'm doing it, because then you can't tell me how it is. Now, people have altered the pasta dish, which I'm happy that they do, because it's a matter of what you put in it that makes it great. To this day, I go to a restaurant and I'll get, it's called aglio olio, and I'll get that aglio olio, and I'll put sausage in it. I'll have the cook put sausage in it. Obviously, you know, they're not making it the way I made it in prison, but, and I still love mine more than most, you know, but there are some places, and I'll give a shout out to a great place here named Villa Palma, who's a friend of mine, Pepe's from Italy, and boy, does he make a, make aloe oil and puts that sauce. He knows the way I like it. You see how you have to break this garlic, everybody? It's not like an easy task. I mean, literally, you have to do this with your hands. And you do this, you know, today in the real world, you go out and you buy it already cut. You can buy it diced. You can buy it everything. You know, back in prison, they would sell these bulbs or we'd get the bulbs off of the commissary because they did sell it. They did sell this, believe it or not. And I'll tell you what, your hands and your whole, look, you know, you're going to notice something here. And I want you to look at it. You see this right here? I brought my microwave into my office to show you. And the reason I did that is because I literally did that in my prison cell. We had one microwave in Jessa, and I used to take the microwave during the middle of the day and I would carry it into my cell and I would be cooking garlic all day long the whole unit would smell like garlic once you peel your garlic and stuff you make your garlic like you make with the pasta and garlic is so important because you can make it any way you want you know i of course take the little tips off all the time then i cut it up and it depends on the chunks i don't mind somewhat bigger chunks some people don't like the bigger chunks I don't mind them, so I take the little ends off. It's a hard end, and then I just cut them up, and I'll be good. This is important because once you do this, then you can find out one, if you, like if you wanna make garlic chips, and that's an actual recipe, garlic chips. I used to make garlic chips, and then always have them, and boy, do you smell like garlic. But what do you care? You're in prison with a bunch of guys. You're not looking out to go out to get a girl or something, so what do you care? So who cares what, how you smell? If you want to make this meal, and you want to make it for your family, you want to make it for your friends, I'd love to see a video of you guys at your house, make this, you all pitch in, do a quick video, I'd love to see that. And if you do that, make sure you put a picture up on Instagram. Wait till you see the taste and the difference when you put little things that matter. Now I learned all of this by other old timers. You know, I, I was in prison with mob bosses, I was in prison with gangsters from all over, and we all had different ways to make things. Obviously, when I left prison, my recipes went along with other people's recipes. The smell is amazing right now. So now you take this, obviously, put it in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there, just a little, just a touch. And I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, make sure it's in there. And I'm gonna soften and cook that garlic. Wow, right here, in the microwave. Look what I did. You know, I'm getting spoiled. Maybe I'll never leave this chair. Put that in there. I started at two minutes and start. Now, while that's going, my next thing I do 
is I told you I'm going to take a half of this summer sausage. Now, I was never a summer sausage before prison, but a little bit now. I mean, I don't mind it, and I'll eat it, and I'll do everything. The bowls I'm using are the bowls that we get out of the commissary. They sell bowls, and that's a big thing. The bigger bowls we got are the bowls that we would make out of a paint can. A paint, you know, the big five gallon paint buckets. Literally eight out of those. We'd clean them, get them, we'd boil the water and stuff. But here I am, I'm just cutting my sausage. And what I'm gonna do here, th now this is an, these are all important ingredients to make this thing like, wow, what is that? So obviously you would do this with a razor blade. And I've done it many, many times. And you know what, it's great. You know, it just takes a hair longer. But you know, we always had razor blades. I showed you how to do it. Look at this, it's all little chunks I made. And you do these with a razor blade pretty quick too. It's not like a big deal to do this. Oh, you know what I'm smelling right now, everybody? I'm freaking garlic. All right. Come here, Teresa. Smell that. Wow, that's yummy. Oh, there's nothing. Just, I know, you I just want to eat it. You want to eat garlic. No, but uh, sit down right there, Teresa, and uh, I'll show you how we're doing it and bring that chair over here. You see now, you see the way that is, everybody? It's not crisp enough for me. I like it a little bit more. So I'll throw it in for another 30 seconds while I'm cutting this up. Okay. Now, look at that. Now it's a little bit better, everybody. Just a hair better, as you can see. Now, you take this, put this in there, and cook this a little bit. Now, you, what you do when you cook it is you get the fat, the, you're, you're gonna see the fat bubble up. And I put this on for approximately one minute. Now, for two people, we would use a half bell pepper. Now, whatever microwave you're using outside in the real world, it's different. So don't worry about that. You know, if it takes you a little longer or a little shorter to cook something, and you cook it to your, what you like. You don't have to cook it to what I'm doing, exact number. I want you to do the exact ingredients, because then you can tell me what you think. So you just cut like this a little bit, again. Now this is nothing that you have to go and get done differently, because you can eat these raw, you know. And I sometimes used to do that. That was good. And you get your bell peppers, and, and they're sold, and so are tomatoes, and so everything, I, I'm not a big tomato eater personally, but I would use them, but not that often. I like onions and peppers. Now, look at this. Oh, smell it. Wow. Look at that, everybody. A little more for me, so I'm gonna put it in another. Was that the only sausage you could get? Summer sausage? Summer sausage was the only sausage we were able to get. Uh, out in uh, prison. So it wasn't like, oh, you can different types of sausage and stuff like this. Again, now here, we used to take a hunk of garlic. Depending on the person, I liked onions, so I would take a little bit more and just take the, the, the top layer off, obviously, and then just cut them up. Get that top layer off and go to work on that bottom layer, everybody. And then you will have all your ingredients and I have a couple of slices of cheese, and that is it that will go in. Usually, it was a slice or two of cheese per bag of uh, ramen noodle. So we are gonna be good. Now, do you notice how I did things with the microwave? I was working while stuff was cooking. We did this. Now, if I cook lunch or dinner with my with my cellmate or whoever I was with, hey Lauren, hey, you making that? I want in. All right, give me a bag of soup. Get get a tomato or whatever you want. Hey, you go get the garlic. You bring a couple more ramen noodle soup. People would love to get in because we'd hang out, we'd eat, we'd enjoy the, the the food and stuff like that. Now, oh, look at this, everybody. Look at that. Is that beautiful? And what you do is you take the juice out. I'm gonna put that in here. Look what I'm doing. 
Now the garlic and oil are being mixed together. Then you throw in your tomatoes, your onions. You could put anything you want. You want tomato, if you like tomatoes, put tomatoes. Again, I'm not a big tomato eater. I'll eat them if I have to. All right, now here is my ingredients. Now look at this, is this great or what? Now here's what you do. See, now I'm just mixing it up, getting it in there. I cooked it a little bit, but definitely not overcooked anything. So I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for one more minute because it'll soften up the vegetables. So that goes in there. I'm loving this video, guys. All right, next one. You think, while that's going, everybody does this. <laughs> Throw them on the floor, break them up. See how they're broken up? Because right now it's hard. Now they're broken up. I crush them up too. Remember, I told you I was once uh, had to eat these raw. Used to eat these raw and let drink water so you're not hungry in the hole. You put these in there. These are your, your packets. I always use the packets. You know, people say, oh, why would you use the packets? You're doing all that other good. No, because it's a little bit something different. It's a little bit different. Here you go. That's what you're looking at. You use any flavor? I'm going to use these both. Did you use beef or Well, whatever they had, I mean, it didn't matter. It wasn't like a big deal for us. Yeah. Uh, but this is the chicken. You can even smell it a little bit. Now, look at that, guys. Look at that. So you put your water in. And now in these, you put it up almost where it covers the, covers the noodles. You see it? It's almost just totally covering the noodles. See how it's down, everybody? Now you cook it. Probably it's gonna take you three minutes to cook that, I'm guessing. You're wondering what's going on, because you got two ingredients left. Two very important ingredients. Potato chips. Yes, potato chips. Potato chips give it a salty taste. I don't like, I'm a salt eater and a big time pepper eater. I have my pepper here, uh, but you don't need salt in this dish because everything is salty to begin with. You know, the, the noodles are salty, the sausage is very salty. Now, potato chips. These chips, just like this, they're gonna sop up, oh my God, I love chips to begin with. They're gonna sop up the water and, and all the stuff that the, the food don't. And when you eat this, you are gonna go crazy. Because I'm hungry and I really want to eat. <laughs> Your cheese goes on afterwards. You know, we used to have cheese and I would always be doing this. No wonder I was bad in prison. I'm always eating stuff before him. I didn't get this big by eating, I don't know, Wheaties. I don't know what I get. Eating a lot of this crap. Here we go. Now what you do is you, you, it's cooked. Now notice it's still loose. It's gonna be loose because it takes minutes after it, the the uh, the water absorbs, the pasta absorbs. And so now you put this in there. Now, like I said, this is made for two very big people <laughs> like me. <laughs> now here's the key to it. You're gonna look at this and say, "What is he doing?" <laughs> The bottom of the bag of the chips, you always have crumbs. You always have crumbs, everybody. And that is what gets... You always use potato chips? I always did. I always used uh, the potato chips because it sucked up the water, it gave it a great taste, mm -hmm. and then I would do this, and I would take two slices of cheese. Mm -hmm. Now, we had, they weren't like this, but you cut them up a little bit and it's like a layer on top. Yeah, I can see it's already soaked up. It's soaking Most of up. the water is gone. It's, yeah, it's gonna be soaking up the whole way. And you just have enough for a layer. And you could put it in then, and it's gonna be cheesy down there. So, you guys are seeing how a great meal is being made. <laughs> What's it called? This is Larry's Ramu Noodle Dish. Well, we've done already prison pasta, I've done pizza, I've done grilled cheese, and now this one, and we got another four. 
for eight, and then I'm gonna be coming out with my cookbook, which you guys are gonna love. And all of these will be in the cookbook with the exact recipes and stories of the prisons I, I made them mostly in and how I learned about it and some stories about the, the meal or what happened around the meal. Okay, after you put it in there, the top off, I'm gonna show you how it looks. Now what you do, you still don't eat it yet, everybody. You let it sit. You let it sit for about five minutes. So for five minutes, this is gonna sit. All right, everybody, so now I just let my meal sit. Now it sat for about five minutes. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, oh smell it now. Mm, you smell the I chips? I do smell the chips. And you the smell garlic. the garlic, the, the potato garlic. chips. Mm -hmm. You could smell it all. And you know, unfortunately, Teresa's hurting because she had a, uh, a, a surgery for her throat. So she's not allowed to eat anything. She has to eat like baby food for the next time. Feel for her, believe me. Can you imagine me eating baby food, everybody? No. Put it this way. You'd never see me. I, I'd go crazy. I, don't, I couldn't do it. Uh, obviously, I'm too fat to do that anyway. But I'm going to just dive in here a second. And look at this. I want to show everybody. Look what comes in there. You got the meat, your garlic, you see the onion. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am not kidding you. Look at it. Look at the call. Look at that. And it's semi healthy, actually. Mm. Oh, olive noodle. Oil, olive oil, garlic, green pepper, onion. The sausage is. Oh, good. my God. Noodles are fine. I'm not kidding you guys. This is. Look at this. Unreal. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. You know, who's going to be worse? Who's going to be very pissed about this is my brother. If he was here, he would be going nuts because he ate this stuff. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. You guys know how to make Larry's Ramu noodle dish right out of the prison. Guys, thanks for watching. Please stay safe. Make good choices. Enjoy this. Please comment if you like it. Share it. Subscribe. Have a great day, everybody. Stay strong. Make good choices. See you next time.